If I were to ask you what is your favorite animation studio, your answer would most likely be either Disney or Pixar. Some might choose DreamWorks, Studio Ghibli, Leica, or Aardman. However, one animation studio you would not hear on anyone's favorite animation studio's list would be Illumination. This are they booing me? Illumination throughout its 12 years hasn't had the best track record one would come to critics and audiences. Of course, you had regular moviegoers who will either take their kids to see an Illumination film and end up liking it, or a group of young adults that'll see their films with friends because they thought it looked cute and also end up liking it. However, for people who actually care about animation or just films in general, will go watch an Illumination film and expect either a mediocre film that doesn't try anything new or interesting, but still also being somewhat entertaining, or a complete garbage of a film. When you look at reviews of all of their films, critics and YouTube reviewers aren't so kind. However, any sort of criticism you might have for any of the Despicable Me movies or the new Grinch movie doesn't even matter since almost every single Illumination film dominates at the box office. They hold two of the seven animated films that have reached over a billion dollars at the box office, those being the Minions movie and Despicable Me 3. The rest are all films owned by Disney and Pixar. All of their films, besides Hop, have been so damn successful, some may even say that they're in the same league as Disney and Pixar. But with how hated the studio is, how does Illumination make so much money and was able to beat their rivals such as DreamWorks, Blue Skies, and pretty much every other animation studio out there. <laughs> uh oh. Just ignore what just happened, okay? Illumination, formerly known as Illumination Entertainment until 2017, was founded by Chris Melodandry, who was the president of the 20th Century Fox Animation and Blue Sky Studios in early 2007. He helped produce films such as Ice Age 1 and 2, Robots, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Simpsons Movie, and Horn Hears a Who. In 2008, Melodandry made a deal with NBC Universal, which would have them produce at least one or two films a year, which they have up until 2014 when there was no films released by Illumination that year. They would, however, make up for it in 2016 with two animated film, Secret Life of Pets, and Sing. Part of their deal, Illumination would possess creative control, and Universal would be the only studio to distribute an Illumination film. In 2016, Comcast bought DreamWorks, the same people that own Illumination. Melodandry was supposed to oversee both studios, but he later turned it down and instead would be a consultant for DreamWorks. But he will be helping to reboot both Shrek and Puss in Boots, so whoop de doo <laughs> Like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, I love it. Now each studio makes films their own way, but Illumination has multiple ways of going about their movies that other studios don't, or at least not to the degree that Illumination does with all of these. First is the budget of the films. Melodandry made sure that all their films would have a low budget, with animated films now being super expensive, costing over $100 million. Animated films can make a lot of money at the box office, but if their budget is way too high, there's a strong chance the film won't make enough profit for the studio and might even make the studio have to put down a write-down for the film, which was the case for both Mr. Peabody and Sherman and the Penguins of Madagascar. Nine films later, Illumination is still strong with keeping their films low budgeted, with their most expensive film being Despicable Me 3, having the budget of $80 million, and their cheapest being Hop with $63 million. Illumination may make their movies cheap, they however spent a lot on marketing. Just think of any of the Illumination Studios movie, whether it be The Lorax, Secret Life of Pets, Sing, The Grinch, or the Despicable Me movies. Each one of those films had a lot of advertisement, and I don't just mean seeing a trailer for the movie on TV, but seeing everyday ads with Illumination characters in them, or even going out and seeing items with an Illumination movie promotion attached. When a new Illumination movie is coming out, you know that there's no escaping its ads. Especially with the Minions, where they are EVERYWHERE. They're even in international ads. And I know that Illumination isn't the only studio to have partnership with other places, but Illumination just goes overboard with it. Just look at Secret Life of Pets. That movie alone had almost a hundred partnerships worldwide. But it seems to work very well for Illumination, as I would say is the main reason why their movies make so much money. Sometimes the movie doesn't make a lot of money until weeks after it's released. Every time I see an Illumination film, it's always packed. I also believe the people who do the character design for Illumination's movies purposely make the characters simplistic looking, because it's more marketable. They think of these characters more as commercial mascots than actual movie characters. Our movies are always about characters. And uh, in the case of the Minion movie, it stars Kevin, Stuart, and Bob. Three Minions. But that's just my hunch, and this wasn't anything I found in my research. But knowing how corporate Illumination is, it wouldn't be surprising. 
Speaking of Illumination being corporate, almost all of their films are directed and written by the same people, as opposed to other studios that will have films that are filmmaker driven. Illumination uses the same three directors and the same three writers. Hop, Singh, and The Grinch are the only Illumination movies that are directed by different people. Pierre Coffin directed Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3 and The Minions, Chris Renault directed Despicable Me, The Lorax, Secret Life of Pets, and will be directing its sequel, and Kyle Balda directed The Lorax, Minions, and Despicable Me 3. Oh, and by the way, every film besides Hop and Sing are directed by two people. And as for the writers, Syncopal and Ken Dario have written every Illumination film thus far, besides the Minions movie, Sing, The Grinch, and Secret Life of Pets 2. The Minions movie was written by Brian Lith, who also wrote Hop, The Secret Life of Pets, and its sequel. Sing and The Grinch are the only films written by other people. I know it's common for studios to use the same directors and writers multiple times, but not to the extent of Illumination. The entire studio's films are just made by the same people, with a few exceptions, which is why pretty much all their films filter in the same quality. Another is that Illumination is just riddled with sequels. As of me recording this video, only the Despicable Me movies have their sequels out, but later this year we will see Secret Life of Pets 2, and in a few years we will be getting Minions 2, Sing 2, as well as Despicable Me 4 being in development. The same thing can be said about Pixar, with them having too many sequels in the 2010 decade, but in 2020, Illumination will have a total of 12 films, and the only films that will not be in a franchise, whether it be one that they made themselves or an already existing one, is one, Hop. One out of 12 would be a non-franchise film, and even if you think of just their original films, that's 4 out of 12, that's 33%. At least Pixar had some originals under their belt before going into sequels galore. But hey, Illumination's making so much money they just have to capitalize from it. The Minions movie made over a billion dollars and is currently the third highest grossing animated film of all time. Of course they're going to capitalize on that. Money, money, money. Sure, each of their films made a ridiculous amount of money, but at what cost? They're not a studio that makes films for the entertainment, or for the filmmaking, or for the passion. They do it so they can make a whole lot of money. All their films, whether you like them or not, feel very corporate, and every decision on the movie is founded on the question, how can we make even more money? And that is how Illumination makes movies. I was the Disco Spider, and thank you for watching. I have more videos about animation coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, please subscribe, and have a great day. Love you, bye. Snack face with good cheer and great nuts.